Use your smartphone and place an online pizza order. It seems like a normal concept now, but back in the mid-90s, it simply wasn't possible. But a chain of events involving both Sandra Bullock and Steve Jobs changed all of that. Both Bullock and Jobs played a part in making online ordering a sales-driving powerhouse for pizzerias. The difference is that while Bullock likely had no idea she was helping forge a new high-tech future for the pizza industry, Jobs, the legendary technology mastermind and co-founder of Apple Incorporated, knew exactly what he was doing. Jobs' influence on pizza is a story that has been largely forgotten. Not only did his web objects technology developed during his hiatus from Apple lay the groundwork for today's online ordering capabilities, Jobs made pizza history when he placed the first online order for Cyberslice, a company that would set into motion an e-commerce revolution that has transformed the restaurant industry. Bullock, meanwhile, starred in The Net, a 1995 film that was pretty forgettable in its own right, yet ironically, one brief throwaway scene in its opening moments provided the inspiration for the aforementioned Cyberslice and for the world of online ordering that we take for granted today. Unlike the less familiar story of Cyberslice, Steve Jobs' rise, fall, and comeback is the stuff of legend. Ousted from Apple in 1985, the 30-year-old Jobs wasted little time in building a new company that would literally change the world. Next Incorporated. His original goal was to build a budget-friendly desktop computer for the higher education market. But he and his team went further, designing hardware and software that would create a cohesive computing experience for users. Bundled with Next Step software, Next computers went on sale in the late 1980s. Just a few years later, Tim Berners-Lee, a scientist at CERN in Switzerland, used his Next computer and its advanced object-oriented development tools to create the World Wide Web. And the digital race was on. The web is incredibly exciting because it is the, the fulfillment of a lot of our dreams that the computer would ultimately not be primarily a device for computation, but metamorphosize into a device for communication. After watching the film The Net, Tim Glass, who co-founded Cyberslice in 1996 with Ryan Cups and Jim Brimhall, had the same idea. In the film, Bullock portrays a hacker who stumbles onto a massive conspiracy rooted in digital technology. The movie's opening scene depicts Bullock ordering a pizza online through a user interface sporting graphics and features that were quite advanced for the era. It was one of those borderline sci-fi moments that make great thinkers like Glass go, hmm. And that's where PMQ's publisher, then a pizza industry consultant, comes in. The first time I heard of Cyberslice uh, was when I got a call from Tim Glass. He saw a movie uh, with Sandra Bullock in it, and she ordered a pizza, and he wanted to start an online ordering company. He said that he uh, was a high-tech guy, he had investors, uh, and uh, that he was working on a project with Steve Jobs. And that really caught my attention. Glass's CyberSlice system was based on Next's web objects tools. According to a press release announcing CyberSlice's launch in December of 1996, web objects, quote, integrates geographical information systems from MapQuest with telephony software to let consumers order pizza via the internet from all registered pizza restaurants in their respective areas. The beauty of the technology? Pizzerias didn't need to have internet access or even a computer. Customers simply place their orders through the CyberSlice website, triggering an automated phone call to the pizzeria. A robotic voice recited the order to the pizzeria employee, the order was filled, and a pie soon arrived at the customer's doorstep. Green's job was to build a sales force and develop a strategy to sign up 1,000 pizzerias in the country's four most wired cities, New York, San Francisco, Boston, and Seattle. The restaurants provided their full menus, which were digitized for the website. And the idea was that this was a universal pizza center where any pizzeria that wanted to be on this, on this hub could be found there and you could order a pizza and have it delivered. And the result was a lot like the system depicted in the film The Net. Once Cyberslice was ready, Steve Jobs personally placed Cyberslice's first pizza order. Once Jobs pressed the key to place his order, word on this futuristic new service spread like wildfire via TV and online media reports. I believe that he was very aware of uh, uh, culture in products by 
featuring CyberSlice as uh, the showcase demonstration of how his future internet commerce software worked was a tribute to our industry, but also an acknowledgement that pizza is cool, it's culturally relevant, and it's more than just a food group. It seems so obvious now, but back then, it was hard to imagine we'd one day live in a world in which online transactions would be ubiquitous. There were plenty of doubters in those days. But the rise of the smartphone over the next several years made online ordering easier than phone orders. And for younger generations, far preferable to ringing up some harried pizzeria worker and trying to get info on the latest specials. According to 2019 research by the National Restaurant Association, Digital pizza orders have now surpassed phone orders. Pizza Hut's online sales first hit the $1 billion mark back in 2013, thanks in part to its Xbox 360 ordering app. Domino's used technology to overtake Pizza Hut as the number one pizza chain last year, and now offers 15 ways to order pies digitally. More than 60% of Domino's orders are now placed online, and the company aims to eventually become a 100% digital business. For pizza chains of all sizes, online ordering has become a must-have. Green remembers Glass telling him that Jobs had high hopes for online ordering from the start. Steve Jobs had predicted that more people would be ordering pizza from online than they would by phone. I think uh, that the web is going to be profound in what it does to our society. As you know, about 15% of the goods and services in the U.S. are sold via catalogs or over the television. All that's going to go on the web and more. Billions and billions, soon tens of billions of dollars worth of goods and services are going to be sold on the web. If you could, a way to think about it is it is the ultimate direct to customer distribution channel. It, another way to think about it is the smallest company in the world can look as large as the largest company in the world on the web. We thought it would happen sooner. We needed a lot of other things to happen, like to be able to uh, have internet in your pocket so that you could go for carry out and you could instantly order when you thought about it. Half of the pizza business now is not from the old world, it's from the digital world. And the digital world is a very efficient way to do business. And more independents are beginning to realize they can't compete without it. And it all started with a high profile nudge from Steve Jobs more than 20 years ago. A cyber slice was a great idea inspired by a bad movie. Steve Jobs fundamentally changed the way consumers buy pizza. Now it's time for the pizza industry to change the way we sell it. Read more about Steve Jobs, CyberSlice, and online ordering in the June-July 2019 issue of PMQ Pizza Magazine at pmq.com.